for him. Tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Oh, neck breaker. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the three days from the Dudley Boys to the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. What's going on? Tag team action like a singles competition. Once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's what a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee five count to execute the move. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against 
welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Blair and Lynch's court. And Samina was in Natalia and Carmella's court. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Blair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence that the Irish last kicker turned the tide to get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense talked her girls in that. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. She goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. And we continue. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. Second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express a strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. That's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. She better do something fast. Oh man, she's rolling now. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in no. She breaks it. Wow. Quite the escape artist, Michael. Boom, 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 boom. We've seen this before. Oh, what is that? Man, she knows how to make a comeback. She might have it. This could go a variety of different ways for it. And almost none of them are good. There have been times it's forced to the hand of what unlike a deal is You know? Oh. Look at this. And a count broken, keeping the match alive. Brutal four holes. Oh, what impact. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. What are you talking about? She goes for the cover. Back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the. 
classic duo through sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. But when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing gold. Nail it. Comes in off the tag. She goes for the quick pass. You're not going to get her that easy. Still in this one. In off the tag. Point on a miss. Good do it! One! 
more punishment needs to be kicked out. Just finish it. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. She got nothing left, guys. If she doesn't make a tag soon, this match is over. It's that simple. Given what they've shown us here tonight, it's a shame that one of these women will have to walk away on the losing end of this match. If she gets in a cat mode, look out. Momentum clearly in her corner. How many times can one superstar go for their finisher? Trying to win a pay the front line, take the dose. He's coming out again for a new goal. Oh, 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 beautiful. He's got it now. Oh, 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 now that's an impressive tag team victory. On the stick, on the stick, on the stick. Let's look back on the action from the last match. The woman out of This was another great moment. Look at her go. If you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. For these two here tonight, these two girls make me think that we should have a woman's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? And folks, as a reminder, the action tonight is coming to you from one of the greatest wrestling hotbeds of all time, Minneapolis, Minnesota.